um, uh, the data is pretty concise and, and it's pretty tight. And what I wanted to do was simply go over uh, the data that we've accumulated, um, show you the auto trader actually in action, and show you uh, not just uh, the percent winning trades and percent winning losses, but some equity curves. And I, um, and I just want you to know that this is, this is still a work in progress, but we're going to go live with it next week because the equity that it's generating on a monthly basis is really, out, is really absolutely outstanding. And um, this is on the basis, this is, this is, a, this is one year, uh, this, I'm sorry, it's from January to October of 2013. Um, there were two, there were 45 trades on the two-line break of the 50. And you can see that there were 39 winners, 6 losers, 87% winning percentage. There were 161 two-line breaks of the 15. 131 were winners, 30 were losers, 81% winning percentage. The momentum entries, best there were. 42 trades. 38 winners, 5 losers, 90%. Remember I mentioned in the lecture um, uh, in, in, in my quick talk this morning in Online Trader Central yesterday, the momentum in the ABC are the most powerful entries. We had 70 ABC entries throughout that period, 60 were winners, 10 were losers, winning percentage was 86%. So total overall, for this period of January to October, there were um, 313 overall trades, 268 of them were winners, 51, 51 were losers, winning percentage 84%, and obviously 16% 16, 16 of those trades were losers. Now this is, you know, as I've mentioned many, many, many times in the past, this is all on forward market replay data. So essentially, this is a live market. Um, now, it's running at 500 speed to accumulate this data without going actually from January to October. But the entries are not going to be modified significantly by the speed. Um, it's going to take the entries. What's going to, what is going to be modified is going to be the amount of profit because you're going to wind up with an extensive amount of slippage. But it's going to get the entries. So this win percentage is going to be very, very close to what we're going to see when we trade the auto trader in real time. Now, maybe even a little bit better, um, but this is going to be approximately what it is. We're going to have about 85% winners and about 15% losers. I'll just move this out of the way. Okay, hold on one sec. Now, now I just wanted you to see the um, auto trader in action, actually. Um, here it is. We just stopped it because um, uh, it's in the process of actually uh, a, 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 a assimilating data right now. And um, you see it's just taken an entry. It's taken a three-line break, a two-line break of the 50. Um, it came up to here and took the trade out right here on the basis of the slope of the 15, of the modified 15. Um, so this is, uh, hold on, so I'm going to ask Leo to turn it on so we can actually watch it move in real time. Why is that? Why is it not moving? Oh, okay. Can you move it to a time where, where it's actually... I got gotcha. you. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. 
Okay, right now, it's running at 2 o'clock in the morning. So it's moving very, very slowly, but it's actually on right now. And um, I can scroll back. And let's see where it took a trade. If anyone has, has, if anyone has any questions, um, you just hold them. Here was a trade right here. It took a C candle. Um, now it took one t contract off here. The profit target was hit. Um, it came back and took a stop loss here, uh, based on the slope of the modified 15. And let's see here. Up, oh, up. Oh. Sorry, it's hard. To, it's hard to move this. This is all market replay data. So let me just scroll. For another trade. Oops, I'm sorry, I mean it's just it's just skipping past me. I don't mean to here's a trade. You know what? Yeah, let, let, instead of going to that button, let me go to, to this to this here. I'm just gonna make it easier. Let's wait for a trade. Here's a trade. This is a, um, uh, actually this is a break of the 50 to the down, this is a break of the 15 to the downside. And actually this was a cover and I think this was a loss. Here's a trade. Uh, Two line break of the 15 of the 50. Profit target here. Um, stop loss was right here. Based on the slope of the 15. This is a very, very nice trade to the upside. And you can see most of the trades win. I mean, 85% of our trades make money. Now let me reshoot the camera and show you. Um, this is going to be here is our this is right out of the back of Ninja Trader. So uh, not you know obviously nothing is fudged. This is from five one to ten twenty two. Um is that, that, that I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's from what is it what is the replay? Okay, this is from five one to seven oh one. So this is simple, this is one month of data, and it's two months. And um, from this two months, the net profit is five thousand ninety dollars. Uh, you made twenty four hundred and sixty dollars from long trades, and twenty six hundred and thirty dollars from the short trades. Gross profit um, was 12,840, 6,310 from the long trades, 6,350 from the short trades. The gross losses were 1,750 uh, from the 3,850 from the longs and 3,900 from the shorts. Now there weren't 237 total trades. There were um, you have to divide this by three. Because this this is actually looking at the number of contracts. So over this period of time, there were about seventy trades. I just hold all up for one second. Now, the one thing that I think is really really important that I want to stress is that the percent win. The percentage wins and the percentage losses are um, oh geez, sorry here are um, are are accurate, but the amount of profit that, that we take right. And you know what, Trader Tom, you're completely correct. And here's the here is the issue. And I'm glad that you actually mentioned that. That's the issue I'm getting to right now. 
the reason the profit it, it does not it only it actually are we running this 24 7 Leo okay we're running at 8 a.m. to 2 30 p.m. Eastern time and and, and and only on crew so it does not run 24 7 now the reason that it is not making the profit that it should and uh, uh, Trader Order Tom filled. made a good point. One point of a one point six seven uh, profit factor from from eighty five percent is very Order blunted. Pending. Is because Order we filled. have not had time to calculate the profit and loss numbers by hand. So think of the slippage you would get if the market is running at five hundred times its normal speed, and that's the profit loss that you're seeing up on up on here I mean we want to get this out to you because we see that it's going to make money for everybody every month so what we're going to do on uh, Monday which is Martin Luther King Day and there's no market is we're going to start doing profit loss calculations by hand because what was again what trader Tom said is with an 85 percent win ratio uh, 1.8 uh, 1.67 um, we should have an extensively greater amount of profit and I am absolutely sure that when this is run in real time at normal speed and we eliminate the massive slippage we're getting at 500 speed this is going to make a lot more money but you can imagine that if at 500 speed with all this slippage um, we're still you're still making five thousand ninety dollars um, in about what is it a seven week period Leo about in an eight week period I mean you may be able to double that I just don't really know how much slippage we're getting but the slippage is enormous now um, I also wanted to show you what else do we have here Leo where's our equity curve hold on a minute I'm going to show you the equity curve and again the uh, the equity curve is also going to be blunted again by the um, by the um, slippage, but we still get an amazingly good equity curve. So um, this is really the this is really the uh, the the nuts and bolts of the auto trader. Well, what you saw was that with the amount of money you made um, over an eight-week period on three contracts, with uh, it made about twenty-five hundred dollars a month, five thousand dollars. Let me get the JPEG back up. I'll show it to you again. Oh, it's right here. I think it's here somewhere. Okay. Don't, I, and rather than have Leo type. I'm going to put him on for a few minutes. Um, so, Leo, don't even bother to do that. Um, I just need the JPEG up that shows the total profit and loss again. So, don't, so don't, uh, um, you can ask him any questions you have. I mean, some of the more technical questions on the, on, on the, on the on Ninja Trader side, I'm going, to, I'm going to let him. Um, no, it's not that. It's the one with the, um, with the amount of money made. There we go. This this five thousand ninety dollars is over is over an eight week period with all of that extensive with all of that ex, uh, extensive. Um, oh, absolutely, you need to deduct commissions. Um, since two hundred since since you traded two hundred contracts during this period of time, you're going to have to subtract about a thousand dollars in commissions. So the profit drops from five thousand to four thousand. So right now you're looking at a profit of about two thousand dollars per month, um, with the extensive slippage thrown in. 
So um, I think the curve is going to give you right back that commission, at least. You're going to get the 1000 back. Um, I'm, I'm really not trying to, I'm trying to sell it. I think it really is an amazing tool. Um, but what, because we're looking at it with, at a market at 500 speed. Um, um, okay, I'm reading what you're uh, reading, what you're uh, writing, say, trade. No, Chris, don't, don't look at that. This is, this is data from 517 to when, Leo? To 701. How? Hold on one sec, one sec. So I want to clarify that too, because I see what you're. I see what you're looking at. Okay. Okay. Now the reason it says ten twenty two is right now that's where we're collecting data from. But this, what we're what we're displaying is only from five one to seven one. 500 speed means we're, we're, we're accumulating this data from market replay. And in order for us, and we, and we want to accumulate the data over a year of, um, of, of uh, entries. So we're running the market replay at 500 times its normal, speed, the normal speed. Mikey, if, if, you, if you purchased back in December and you own the software, then you're going to get access to the auto trader automatically, and um, so you don't. You don't. There is. There's no purchase involved for you. Um, there's no lease involved for anyone who owns the software. Um, okay, it's it's going to. It's really very simple. The auto trader uses an enormous amount of system resources. And it's going to jam on you consistently. In order for us to run it here, I had to borrow a server that cost about $7,000 in order for us to play with this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to house it on NinjaTrader. And we have to pay them a lease. But we're not going to pass the cost on. We're just going to eat that. And um, what we're going to do is via your NinjaTrader ID, uh, machine number, you're actually going to be able to plug directly into the Ninja Trader server, and it's going to run your Auto Trader platform. Um, I mean, that it's something that we have to do. What well, the, the the benefit that we get from that is is there won't be any tick differential, um, and almost everyone is going to develop the same equity curve. So. And, and unfortunately, we want to release it because, and I'm telling you, it's really not so much because we want to take money from everyone. We're really not really making much money off of it because most of the people who are going to own it already have a right to it. I mean, I mean we're releasing it primarily to people who already own the software, and they're going to get it anyway. So we don't get any money from that. The reason I want to release it is because I promised it and because it's it's, it's creating a very, very nice positive equity curve. Now, right now, it comes with very, very little bells and whistles. Okay, Chris, hang on there. We're, we're going to be starting next week, to be perfectly honest with you. And, and let me tell you something. Um, I have to tell you, I, um, I'm going to have my attorney write up a disclaimer. I need everyone who uses this auto trader to sign it with the understanding that it's done for educational purposes. If you want to trade it using real money, which I'm going to do uh, using real money, um, that's your business. But obviously, I have to, I have to represent that this is, this is an educational tool. Um, we could get into trouble. Uh, but it does create a wonderful, wonderful um, curve. Now, um, uh, there were just a couple other things I wanted to throw in there. Um, if you don't own the software, we only have, I think, what, how many, we only have 15 copies left. We were going to release 25 copies. We already have, we already have 10 um, promised out. We already had 10 people pre-reserved copies. 
and we're going to lease it for $345 a month. And it should make you, and listen, I'm making representations, I think it's going to make you $2,000 a month or more after commissions. Um, so your overhead on the trader is going to be about $345. This is really, really going to be found money for you. No, listen, Trader Tom, we've never run it live. I, I, don't, I, I want to be completely frank with you. But remember, though, the data that we've accumulated is all on market replay data. So in a sense, it is live trading. So the 85% win ratio is essentially done, has been done over a year of live trading. The equity curve has not actually been ascertained in a live market. It's been, it, it's been obtained in a, in a market in which we've been trading it at 500 times its normal speed. All the settings, stops and targets, are predetermined. It doesn't come with any bells and whistles. And quite frankly, I would recommend you touch nothing. The exits and targets have all been optimized. And we've spent an enormous amount of time tweaking the exits and tweaking the stops. Every single entry has a different stop. And every single entry, although the targets are all the same, um, the stop loss on all of our um, retracement trades is based on the slope of the modified 15. As the modified 15 begins to lose its um, slope, and we see the trend begin to wane. We don't wait for the, for the um, instrument to fall back into the 15. We actually take the trade out as the slope begins to um, flatten out. Um, our stops are also different based on the trade. We're taking a, a break above the 50, our stop is a couple of ticks below the 50. Because we saw, um, and Leo will talk to you more about that, because um, we saw that a lot of the trades will come back into the 50 and then go and then just fly and go up you know 20 or 30 ticks so the stops are adjusted as per the entry um Order the filled. targets are all Order six filled. two off at six and then a runner um and how far that trade runs is really based upon the slope of the 15. um and so everything is already predetermined. Later on, as, as, as we become more sophisticated with it, we're going to give you the, we're, obviously we want you to be able to trade five contracts, ten contracts, whatever you want to trade with. And anyway, I would recommend, and I know there are questions come here, you're only going to work with three contracts. Um, well, Paul, this, listen, Paul, that is why we're only releasing a limited number of copies. Um, because we don't want to create a fill issue um, on your entries, nor a problem at your targets. And also, that's why we could have optimized the, the auto trader on five contracts. But we wanted to optimize it on a small number. So at least initially, we know that when we give it out, there is not going to be an issue with getting fills and getting entries. I mean, crude is trading over a quarter of a million contracts a day. So the number of contracts that we're trading per auto trader, which is three, is in no way, I think, going to make a difference. Plus, we optimize the auto trader during the high volume period of time from 8 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Eastern. That's when 75% of those quarter of a million contracts cross. I don't think you're going to have a problem getting your good fills and getting good ent getting good exits. I don't think we're going to we're going to change that um, at all. Um, you see here, um, I don't know what co-location means, um, Trader Tom. Trader Tom, can you tell me what that means? Uh, Gordon, Leo can tell you. I have no clue if um, if you're going to get a better fill in Chicago. I mean, it's a good question. 
Uh, but I truly, truly, I, I, I understand that. I do not know. I really don't know if, if, if that's going to make a difference for you. Um, I can't, I didn't, I, I never really, I never really thought that that's what determines how you are in line. Um, the reason, the reason, it, the reason um, we used an eight range, I understand. Uh, I mean, if it does make a difference, I mean, you you need uh, Leo can give you the specs on the kind of server you would need in your house to run this um, independently, but it's going to cost you it's going to cost you a huge amount of money, and I wouldn't lay it out up front. Yeah, you know, that's what I thought. Uh, location doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're using the well, these, Leo. These people are talking about if they housed it in the, if they housed if they bought like a ten thousand dollars server and moved it into their server. Would that help optimize their fills and entries? Okay, Leo's saying it makes no difference. Uh, I mean, I don't know that. It, I don't know the issue. Um, but Trader Tom is saying location does make a difference, and uh, it seems like he's he may listen. He may be right. And, and 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 I'll have Leo give you the specs on 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 the kind of server that you would need in order to house it. But it's going to be it's going to cost it's, it's going to be of significant cost. And what you may want to do is um, initially, at least with three contracts, um, use the auto trader. Guarantee for yourself what I already know to be true, that it's going to. Um, oh, you. What's that for, um, DK? Is that for a server? Okay, gotcha. Um, Okay. Um, whether um, whether or not um, he'll give well, he'll give you the specs. Um, um, he'll give you the specs on buying your own server, but I wouldn't recommend that you do that right off the bat. Once we, once we. Um, um, get the ability to put some more bells and whistles on it, give you the ability to trade 5, 10, or 15, or 20 contracts. Once you guarantee uh, personally that it's going to create a really, really nice equity curve for yourself, then you can do whatever you want. And then, uh, you know, then the decision will be up to you. Um, I think initially, where it's set at three contracts, um, I, I personally would take the first couple of weeks on SIM and guarantee you that you're going to run a positive equity curve. Although this is data accumulated from over a year, and I think you're going to be really knocked, your socks are going to get knocked off by this equity curve. And um, I, I, so I think, I think it's an amazing, it, it's an amazing um, tool. Um, okay, the eight range question is, we, you know what, Dimitri, to be perfectly honest with you, your answer is your question is not answerable. We have not looked at it on a 13 range. We have not looked at it on a 5 range. And you know what? It may be that a 13 and a 5 give you a better equity curve. We don't know that yet. And, and, and the only reason I'm releasing it on the 8 range is because the equity curve is already so good. Okay? I, I'm, 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 listen, I, I want to be really honest with you. I, I don't want to, you know, give you. I don't want to give you baloney. Um, I don't want to say that the eight. You know, we know the eight range is the best um, time frame. We don't. And it may be that when we look at the thirteen and we look at a twenty-one range, um, and we look at a five range, the equity curve is actually better. Ultimately, what we would like to do is give you the ability to set the time frame. And make and make those kinds of bells and whistles something that you can change on your own. Um, but we, I mean, we are really, really early on in the process of getting this auto trader um, up and running. What we know is right now we will provide you with a tool that I know will make you nice money. 
And so there's no reason not to release it. Because if you pay $349 a month, for all the people who own the software, they pay nothing for it. They, were, they, 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 they um, trusted me when I, when I told them that I would provide them with an auto trader that would make the money. And they bought the software with that trust uh, in, in, their, in their mind. And they're being rewarded for it now by not having to pay a dime for the auto trader add-on. For those of you that lease it, though, I, I want to make sure that if you pay $349 on a monthly basis, you're going to at least make a grand or 2000 or 3000 above that. And I think you're going to make two or three grand above and beyond that 349 because we're looking at $2,000 a month, $2,500 a month now. Um, um, we're looking at um, $2,050. A minus commissions is $1,500. But I, I think we're looking at it, a massive amount of slippage, just really a massive amount of slippage. So this, and this is, again, it's based on a fixed amount of three contracts. I think easily with the limited number of copies that we're releasing, um, ultimately this, we can change it to six or change it to five and push this equity curve up significantly. So this is really what it is. This is what we have right now to offer. It's gonna, we're going we're gonna to move it over to the NinjaTrader server this coming week. Um, I think it's going to take them about 70, 72 hours to format it. Um, all we'll need is, every, we already have the NinjaTrader licenses of everyone who owns the software. We're going to put a lease um, option on it, but we, we're not going to allow anyone to buy it until it's released. Because we want you to be able to use it on day one of your purchase. And right now it has not been migrated into the Ninja Trader server. We're still housing it here. And um, we don't want to sell it until you can use it. Which is obviously I think a good idea. If you're interested in it, simply send us an email and we will reserve you a copy. And I am being very serious. We only have fifteen copies left. And the first fifteen people who send us a request to reserve those are the 15 that are going to get it and we are not going to we're not going any higher than that so I don't want to before I answer that question I don't want to compromise the profit of the people who own it and I'm trading it and I want to make money on it and I don't want to compromise my fills and I don't want to compromise my targets sure sure um, uh, I'm going to let Leo do that because Leo, because Le, Leo is the one that said that, and he and he will um, he'll do it for you. Dimitri, I'll, I'll, I will. Uh, it, it's something very, very different than what I do now. Um, this is kind of. Hold on one second. So, um, um, hold on a second. I don't think that's what I used to teach. So, um, uh, I'm not hiding it. It just, you know, uh, it just, uh, it, 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 it was actually wonderful, a wonderful field. So, um, um, I'm going to put Leo on for a little bit. He will, he will address the issue of 5 1 to 1022. Um, the one thing that we do, I just want, I mean, if you're not familiar with our company, is we are very, very, very reputable. Um, all these numbers that you see are 1,000% accurate. Um, we, don't, we don't fudge or play with any data. And we've been trying to get this released for a long time. And we put people on hold, on hold, on hold, because we didn't want to do anything until, until we were sure we were going to release a really nice product. This may be one of the few profitable auto traders ever released. And, and I'm just going to say this, and then I'm going to turn it over to Leo. This is really the bottom rung of what I believe is a 100-step ladder. We are going to optimize this for multiple other markets. Um, we are going to take this so that it's going to have bells and whistles on it so that you can, so you, that you can adjust the number of contracts. Um, that you, you 
potentially can ch change targets, although you're probably not going to want to because it's been optimized on the targets that are preset. But it's where you can take where you can change contracts, um, and we're, we're going to we can release. And we're ultimately my goal is to release multiple versions so you can trade multiple markets. Right now, you can only trade crude, but think of the potential. If you could trade crude, you could trade you can trade gold, you could trade the Nasdaq, you could trade the Dow. Um, that's the direction we want to take this. So this is really, really the bottom floor. And since, again, we can only trade three contracts on crude, that's why we're limiting so much. Listen, I would love to make a ton of money on this and release 1,000 copies, but I just don't think that that, that would um, make it very profitable. And I think it would um, uh, stuff up the fills, and, and we would have issues with, um, with making money on it. Absolutely. I mean, this is a monthly lease, um, Trader Tom. If you don't like it, uh, you can just cancel it. And um, I no, 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 listen. Auto traders have a very bad reputation, and you're not making any more than a four-week commitment. That's it. Um, but I want you to know the data we're showing you is is, is accurate. And Dimitri, you are correct. Um, auto traders have a very, very bad reputation. One of the reasons they do, though, is that people backtest. And when you back test, you just don't get accurate data. We have, got, we have done this data, and one of the reasons why it's taken us so long is because all the information that we have is from forward testing. And let me tell you, every time we tweak it, we have to run a year of auto data, of auto trader data, to see what that tweak does. It is an enormous pain in, in the, in the, in the um, buttocks to do a year of market replay data when you change the slope of the 15, or when you modify the, um, the stop loss, or you change this, or you change that. Every single tweak requires a year of market replay data, and that takes three days to run at 500 speed. So it's a lot of work. And that's why we have never resorted to backtesting. I just want to say one more thing. Thank you, Dimitri. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Cliff, you're, you're, you're really kind. I, I'm in good health. I, I, I'm really careful. I take a baby aspirin every day um, and, and a couple of other medicines just to protect my health. Is there any manual? Absolutely. Trader Tom, you can close the trade at any time, and you can turn it off. Thank you, Cliff. And you can turn it off to make sure it doesn't trade around news. I mean, you don't want to get you don't want to get. Now we didn't turn it off. I mean, obviously we don't we, we don't have the ability or the time to sit there and wait for it to, at 500 street speed to approach 10 a.m. when there might be a crude inventory or something like that. <laughs> So, um, okay, I'm, <gasps> so we don't, so we never turns it off, but obviously you're going to have the option of disengaging the system and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and stopping it from trading. And obviously you don't want it to trade. And, and listen, the only thing that that can do is serve to help increase the equity curve. Because there's a really good chance that some of these losses were taken during tr the tremendous static that's generated during a major um, announcement, where the, where the market goes up 20 ticks and down 20 ticks and just jumps around like crazy. Um, really, you're only in a position to get stopped out. You're not really in a position to make any kind of money. So I think by turning that off, you may eliminate some of the losses. Now, once we release it, we're still going to work on optimizing it further and also diversifying the markets. Now, what I'd like to do is turn it over to Leo. Um, Leo really knows this thing in depth tech-wise. And if you have any real heavy-duty tech questions for him, uh, now's the time to unleash them. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. Remember, there's going to be no buy link on this yet because we don't have it ready to go. But if, you, if you're interested in it and you want us to reserve a copy, um, just send us an email, go to the contact, 
us page on our website and just say I would like to reserve a copy and you got it when it comes out I mean we, 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 we believe you'll honor your request and you will lease a copy because we're not gonna promote it and we're gonna hold it and and once we hit 25 is it 25 it's I'm sorry 15 we, we, we we're, we're gonna go with a full 25 and we've got 10 in reserve we have 15 left Order once we hit that 15 we are we are shutting it down so hold on one second and let me let me turn this over to Leo um, no you're not gonna be able to do that Charles it's not going to come with any ability to configure anything. I don't want to mislead you. It's going to take every single trade. It is n all you can do with the auto trader when we release it is simply stop it from trading so that you don't, it doesn't trade around news. If there's a calamity or a catastrophe, you do not want. But you're not going to have the ability to configure anything. But let me tell you something, all of these setups on a statistical basis are so close to each other. I'm not sure you would really know which, which trades to pick and, and, and choose. It, it tracks all our strategy setups. The only ones we've optimized for, though, are these. And I'll show it to you again real quickly. Let me pull up the JPEG. One, one second, and I'll just show it one more time, and then I'm going to put Leo up. Are these four? We've optimized for the two line break of the 50, the two line break of the 15. Now remember, the, the predictive value we found of a two line and a three line break are the same. So there's absolutely no reason to have a three line here. The two line breaks and the three line breaks are, um, the two line breaks eliminate the three line breaks as an entry. And then we have the momentum entry, and then we have the ABC entry. We did not, we, we tried to optimize for the, for the power entry. We didn't like it. It didn't give us a great curve. So we eliminated that entry. But we want to stay 80% or better. Um, we have not yet gotten to the strategy entry, but we will eventually. It's the only entry that we haven't done yet. We haven't done the bounces off the 50. Uh, we haven't gotten to those yet. But with these four entries, we have such a great curve that I think we're ready to go. And like I said, we're going to build it out from here. No, no, th this is, that's it. Yep, this is for one year. This, no, this is from January to October for 10 months. That's all. The only, yep, for the settings that we put in, Yang, and remember, we, ha we, had to re we have to be very restrictive in the trades that we have the auto trader take. And we looked at every possible parameter and we tweaked and played with it on a separate, um, on a really unique thing that really that Leo created uh, in which we can change a single parameter. Um, and, um, and, and, and that, I, I, listen, that's what helps me trade. I mean, I saw how important the slope of the 50 is and the slope of the 15. Um, how a two-thirds candle close above a major trend line is important. These were all the uh, critical things. So it basically came down to only 45 trades that met the criteria that we set up in the auto trader were tradable in, in an entire 10-month period. That is correct. It's one trade per week. It may, it's amazing to me. I agree with you. I came up with the came at well, it, it's a, Order. this is one piece of information that surprised me because when I traded live, the three line breaks are very, very successful. The thing is, when you have a robot trade it, you've got to really restrict the parameters to a great extent. Um, it, when it doesn't have that 10% discretionary component that your brain puts in, you have to restrict that trade down to only 45 trades uh, uh, a year uh, on a 10 month period. You see the two line breaks of the 15 are tremendous. At 81%, we get 131 trades. And the ABC entries are good at 60. But when you're, re when you're relying on, a, uh, on an automated system to take your trades, you have to be re very, very restrictive with all, with all the parameters. 
one to two per day. Ah, Trader Tom. That's how many trades it takes in, in uh, over a year period. It's going to trade once, sometimes twice, occasionally, but rarely, it'll take a third trade. You got it. You got it. That's right, Dimitri. Um, so listen, I'm going to turn it over to Leo. If you have any other technical questions, um, you will all have a great day. Um, and let us know if you're interested. So hold on a second, and I'm going to turn it over to him. Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, just give me one second. I want to show you guys something. I want to show the difference in uh, 500 speed and the uh, bigger speed markets. Uh, okay, let me show the chart that I have up right now. Can everybody see it? Can you guys see it? I'm just looking for one kind of direction. Uh, I just go. I just go make an example. Sometimes when you go to 500x, so speed gets here by here. Now I stop at 7.24. But instead of getting the entry right here because it comes to fast, it will go 10 ticks of all days. So when the auto trader goes in, <coughs> when the auto trader goes in, you already. Can take pass by, so sometimes it's going to be a, a loser even though it was a winner. So the equity growth that you get, it could be way better than one that you get when you have found the speed and the, the auto trade. So that equity curve, even though it's pretty good, sometimes it could say that it's a losing trade when you actually made more than it should be on real time. Because you're sleepish in the take, it's going to be like, can be 10 ticks, it can be 3 ticks, it can be 5 ticks. So that's what happens with the equity curve that we're showing right now. It's going to pay you out because you actually put the stop loss before you reach the, uh, the trade. But to get in, it takes a while sometimes. So that's what happened with the exit curve. Can you hear me now? TK, can you hear me? All right, perfect. So that's what happens when you get an entry at 500 end speed. Sometimes the military will say, okay, go in right here. The other trade will say, and you will go in right here. So you're going to lose like 10 10. Got it? Now the stop is going to be the same because the stop, when you put the entry, you actually put the stop in. So the stop is going to stop you out when the trade is done. All right, now let me show you what happens with the uh, equity uh, because we will show you. All right, right now, the one that we're showing is for this date. Let me see this date. It was 5.17 to here is what I stop it at. So it's 7.24 right now. So these numbers that you see right here, they are from 5.17 to 7.24 at 8.46 a.m. It, it does try to stop, uh, Trader. It does. We change the trial stop, it depends on the entry that you get and it depends on the slope of the 50. Sometimes we will stop it manually, so it, it's up to the other trader when you stop a trade. But we have a fake trail stop, that just in case that something fails, we just going to stop you all stop. So you don't have to worry about that. Once you put a trade on, if you want to stop it manually, you can do it. Now just wait for it, it's going to take you out. 
right? So basically, uh, what you see right here on this chart, that's what the amount of time that we spent. So it's 517 to 724. So this 1022, that's because that's the uh, more that I'm uh, testing right now. So you see, 517 to 1022, I generate the curve. So that's a live curve right now. But the only time that we have gone so far in this testing is 517 to 724. And you got 5090 without taking into account the leakage. So in reality, it's way big. Got it? So when we put the auto trader on the Ninja server, you go to get a, a strategy in your computer. When you enable the strategy, you go like that. And then, for example, right now, using this one, the one that I use to You enable it, and you say enable two, and that's it. It's going to run by itself. If you want to disable, you do the same thing. You do a right click, strategy, and then enable, put it to false, and that's it. You stop the auto trade. You take me any trade. That is, we have to change it so we give you some more power so we can change the settings. We don't have it done right now. So I have to work on that. All right, any questions? In one clip, you don't need a secondary account. You can win two charts and you can do super dumb. That's what I know so far. Right, any other questions? Is that it? Thanks, Ray. All right, I gotta put I gotta put Mac back for a minute. Just give me one second. No, it doesn't turn off on news, Brian. You you have to disengage it yourself. Does it, I mean I mean, you know, it's not going to know when, when news is coming up. Um, and, and I'm telling you, um, we, we're running up a wonderful equity curve on, on our discretionary trading um, using the right line software and our rules. And if you add this in, I'm telling you, uh, if you don't make six, six figures a year, um, Leo and I are going to come over there and beat you with a wet noodle. So um, that's all I can tell you because um, um, the system is running fine and... Um, 119 manually today, Ray, is unbelievable. And Ray does that. And we have a, quite a few people in the room that make 100 plus, 100 plus ticks a day. Um, yeah, well, Mike, you know, Mike, we had our first guest. Um, I love natural gas, too. Um, we had a, our first guest trader in the room. And, um, and uh, he got four wins in a row. And, um, and actually, I had four wins in a row yesterday. Um, but I, I took my uh, first uh, two losses of, of the year yesterday, uh, so um, I had a little bit more trouble. So, um, so that's where we are. I mean, I think that um, if you're interested, uh, um, we have it set to trade from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Now, obviously, you can modify that if you want to. That's going to be a parameter that can be modified. Um, what we've done is we've optimized it from the 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. period. I can't tell you if letting it run till 4 p.m. or later is going to make the, is going to increase, enhance the curve or diminish the curve. All I can tell you is the data that I've showed you and the information that we've obtained on, on all the data is from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. But it's up to you when you want it to run. If you want it to start at 7 o'clock in the morning, Eastern, you can do that. That's something that you can modify. You know when when you what when, when the trader's operation. Any other questions at all? If there are any other questions, you can call us. Um, you can send us an email. Any other issues that you have? Really, what you see here is what you get, uh, and you're going to see that um, it's it's going to be exactly as I've, as I have represented. No difference at all. And we are going to really work on this. Um, to create something a lot more elegant, but this is the core, and I believe that this is going to be, um, Leo's going to tell you that.
he was going to email you all that data, uh, all the all the requirements, um, Trader Tom, for a um, for a server for server data. Um, he he will he will give you that. Yeah, Paul, this is the stripped down version. You know what I mean? This is like it's not the Edsel because I think the Edsel was a failure, but this is this is simply a version with no bells and whistles, but it works. And it's going to make you money. And I think it's going to make you nice money. So um, uh, it's going to get you to where you want to go. You know something, Cliff? Boy, I boy. don't know. Um, I, I, I don't even think that your broker... Leo, does, your broker, does the broker even need to be told about this? Yeah, I don't, Cliff, your broker doesn't even need to be told about this. Basically, it's going to be hooked up directly to your Superdome. And your Superdome is going to take the signals directly off the software. And the bro your broker isn't going to know whether you entered the trade or the auto trader entered the trade. So I don't think it's going to make absolutely any difference um, at all. Um, no, no, Paul, I know you didn't, mean any, you, you didn't mean any disrespect. And you know what? Not only did you not mean any disrespect, your description is exactly correct. This is a piece of software that's coming out without any bells and whistles. It is a stripped down version. Um, we're going to build those in. But if it was a car and you wanted to drive from here to New York City and the car got you there without a horn and without any air conditioning, uh, you know, it, and it still got you there and it worked and, and it was really important uh, to get there, you, you know, this, this would do the job. We, this is going to make you money, and, and um, I'm convinced of it, or I wouldn't release it. So, so the, okay, well, listen, well, that's it. Um, let us know if you're interested, and I, will, I hope everybody has a great weekend. It's a three-day weekend. We won't see you on Monday because of Martin Luther King Day. Um, Cliff, you need a secondary account if you want to do both at the same time. That I know. If you only want to do one or the other, you don't need two accounts. No, Ray, we're getting it on the road. Thank you, Lonnie. I, it's exciting for me, too. Because, I mean, this is like, you know, after 10 years of, um, of day trading, this is, a, this, is a new, this is a new direction. And um, the release is next week, Larry. I mean, we're going to have this operational, migrated to the server, and be able to send you, if you send us your, your, your if you sign up and you send us your um, NinjaTrader number, we'll, we'll have you hooked up uh, midweek to the end of the week, and, and it's going to be taking signals and trades for you. Um... No, Monday, Monday is Martin Luther King Day, so, so the market's closed. So it's not going to be available on Monday. We're gonna, we will send an email and let everybody know when it's available. But you can pre-reserve a copy. And listen, I, please believe me, I am not trying to, set, to, push, to push this. Um, I'm just saying we're only Order. doing 15 copies. That's it. And if you're interested in it, and you want to reserve a copy, I would recommend that you do it. We're just not going to charge you or ask you for any money until we can hook you up and get you operation. No, you do not. We don't want, if you don't have the software, um, Trader Tom, we don't want any information from you until we are operational and, and until we can take that number and hook it up into, um, into the server. Three forty nine a month. Um, you know, listen. I, I mean, there's no reason for us to take it because once we go live, then we're gonna then we're gonna then we're going to set the um, button on the website. That's when you're gonna pay your money. Ten minutes after you pay your money, put your Ninja Trader license on an email to us. We will immediately hook you up, and you'll be operational. You know, a couple hours later. That's all. And hopefully that's going to be midweek, um, you know, maybe Wednesday or Thursday of next week. It's really, all, we're done. It really is all going to be at, 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 as quickly as we can get NinjaTrader to, to put that on their website. 
It is. It is, um, TK. The room is completely separate from the auto trader. Because the auto trader really, really creates a totally separate revenue stream. So we can't we can't combine them. I mean, we've been making great money in the um, in the trading room, and this is going to make you great money as well. Uh, the room rate is one hundred ninety nine dollars. Um, if you buy the software, you get you get the you get you get the room for two months. For free. Um, but the room is is is, is um, done also for one hundred ninety nine dollars so far this month. We're up about fifty five hundred. How many? How much are we up on five contracts, Leah? Uh, and these are not like this isn't fudge data, but the people in the room can tell you we're incredibly cautious when we do our calculations every every day for our profit and loss. And remember, again, this is only for educational purposes. We're up fifty nine hundred seventy dollars. That's not including today. It might made about a grand today, so we're up about. Seven thousand dollars on five contracts, and we're closing in on four thousand dollars on three contracts in the room, just taking the calls that come way, way in advance of the trade. Have a great weekend, Mort. So I would recommend the room. Let me tell you, because you're going to make good, good, good money. And this month, we're 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 really racking it up. We really are. So listen, everyone have a great, great weekend. Um, we'll keep you posted, uh, up to date, and um, and uh, you know, I, I I look to see some people come aboard and get that auto trader and make some make some money. What else can I say? See you on Tuesday. I know a lot of people from the room. You guys all take care. I will be in there on Tuesday. And we'll slug it slugging it away. Okay. Um, Everybody have a great, great three-day weekend. Bye-bye.